I've been uh, working all over the world, you know, for 50 years, running big companies. And we also built up in developing world, factories, offices, but we also built hospitals, schools, you know, and living accommodations where people had a poor situation. So I saw poverty at close distance. And then 15 years ago, I decided instead of sitting in chairing of big companies, you know, I got out of that and then I started hand in hand. Because I saw that if I could mobilize people into entrepreneurship, creating enterprises and jobs, you would be able to um, lift them out of poverty at a fraction of the cost that it is if you give things to people, you know. To make a long story short, we have then started 1,650,000 enterprises around the world. A staggering figure. Yeah, big figure. And we um, add every day a thousand enterprises, mm -hmm. hundred every hour, mm -hmm. all over the world. We aim for 10 million jobs, you know, a job, mm -hmm. uh, several jobs in one enterprise. Mm -hmm. If you have 1.6 million enterprises, you have more jobs. So with 10 million jobs, that means 50 million people, mm -hmm. because there are five people who live on each job you know, babies, retired people, etc. So we aim for 50 million people out of poverty. According to my opinion, NGOs have missed out for 100 years mm -hmm. by giving and giving and giving mm -hmm. to people, mm -hmm. instead of uh, having them clients depending mm -hmm. on them, you know. Mm -hmm. Instead of they take the destiny in their own hands, mm -hmm. you support them, coach them, mm -hmm. lend them money, mm -hmm. but they run it themselves. Mm -hmm. That is the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. That is 25 times more efficient mm -hmm. than to give.